Hello everyone, I am back once again, and today I have Blackout for you all. It's a game I found on Itch.io, and it says it is a post-apocalyptic narrative survival game in which the player is tasked to bring the team of survivors to their designated goal. The, the last night glows at night, lights in a world in which all electricity has been destroyed. Yes. <laughs> all, electri all electricity is gone, and ah, this kind of makes me think of this. Mm. There's this one show I I can't think of what it's called, but all electricity is gone, except for like these few people that have like this special thing. Okay, we're playing now. Um, it was a short moment, just a blink of an eye. The bright lights burst across the horizon. And expanding over night sky like a burning wave. Uh, with incredible speed, it quickly spread to every corner of the earth, frying every, ev frying every electric circuit, every tra transistor, and every chipset. The known world that has engulfed by darkness. Thousands of disaster uh, disasters lay low, whole cities and turned our civilization to dust. Those who couldn't adjust to living in the new world quickly died out of disease, starvation, or in fighting. In fighting. In fighting. Only a few remaining left. I hope I said that word right. Look. Uh. Uh. Those people witnessed a miracle. One night, the pitch black horizon became engulfed by bright flashes of artificial light. It might have looked like an illusion to some, others took it for a bad omen and cowered in awe as the, in their shelters. However, the majority of survivors believed it to be a sign of hope in the form of a new civilization. Without hesitation, those, uh, for, uh, those people formed groups which had uh, an only purpose to reach the mysterious brightness. Ooh. The goal is to lead one of the group to this destination, yet you have to make haste. It is said that the mystical sores of light may vanish at any moment. Will your group manage to get to safety, or will it be engulfed by a dying world? Uh, the only thing is certain, it is you who needs to lead them. So this is my team, I'm guessing. We got this strong man who looks like fit for survival. We got this badass biker chick, and then we got some kid. This is- uh, you are my son now. Preparing the apocalypse. Ooh, I love apocalypses. I love games of apocalypse. the apocalypse. Uh, apocalypses. <laughs> the black surface of crack, uh, cracked road vanishes in the thick morning fog. Uh, the omnipresent silence fills all minds with fear and hope alike. This is where our journey begins. Let's see what awaits us on the trail. Let's start our journey. Let's start in Jeed. Um... Oh, okay, so I have to- okay, I click. Okay, so we got Anne. That- uh, oh, wait, I think you're- oh, you're a female, I think. I think. Gender is a thing. Er. Yeah, well, there are many genders. Uh, we got Sarah. We got S Sarge. I'm gonna call you Sarge. I don't, I don't know how to say your name, I'm sorry. Um, alright. Let's see what awaits us. Let's start. Let's see what awaits us on the trail. Um, the road stretches out across the horizon, uh, calling us to take up the journey. Yet we may look around the surroundings and try to find places we're searching. What should we do? Uh, let's make a decision. Uh, uh, Sarge, you do. Um, do you want to suggest an answer? What is the best option? And what is your opinion? Uh, let's make a decision. The road stretches up across the horizon, calling us to take up the journey, yet we may look around the surroundings to try to find what, uh, what's worse, what should we do. Um, we should carry on going forward, we have to cover as much distance as possible. We should send Sarah to scout ahead, uh, she may find something interesting in this fog. We should recon- uh, rec- recon- Gosh, I, I, I can read in my brain. But I can't read the word out loud. Re, con, or whatever you you see the word in the area. 
Um, we need to move on, but we try to conserve our strength as the same, uh, at the same time. So our march uh, will let us be more aware of the unsuspecting dangers ahead. Mm, I don't want to send her out alone. That sounds really dangerous. We're only a party of three. You should never go alone. Unless I, unless I know your skill. I don't know their skill, so... Um... Let's let's do a steady tape. If is if st steady, yes. Um, we set out with a regular pace, carefully watching the road ahead. The journey will probably make us tired, but we should still have enough strength remaining. Getting to our destination safe and sound uh, is all that matters. Oh, okay. So when I highlight it, it shows what it like it, like decreases or increases. I'm gonna guess this is decreasing. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. Um, while watching the road, we spot a group of people in the distance coming our way. Those strangers haven't seen us yet. What should we do? We should stay hidden. We can't risk taking unnecessary risks. I need a drink. I've been talking a lot. Makes me thirsty. While watching the road, we spot a group of people in the distance. So, stranger, we have. Okay. I right, read that. Um, we should reveal our presence. They might have some good uh, good to trade. We should send Sarah to take a closer look at them. We should hide and wait until they pass us unnoticed. We should wait and see what they're up to. It will be easier to do it from a close range. Mmm. Hide and wait until they pass us unnoticed. Um. Mmm. It's a group of four. And they, uh, I don't know, like, it seems like Sarah is, like, the sneaky person. So maybe we should have Sarah go up, but at the same time, that sounds really dangerous. Like, a group of four could easily take down... Oh, okay, so the question mark for food. For some reason, you get hungrier or hung... You, your food doesn't change. Uh... I don't know why the... You're not... You're not, um... Okay, let's see now. Closer look at them, we should hide. Ah, man, I'm, let's see how we should. Let's, let's send Sarah just a little bit closer. Sarah reported that they are wanderers and not armed, and they look like travelers seeking sight. Let's help them. Um, let's tell them we are here. And go, no, let's tell them we're here. They might, they might give us some sort of a side quest, or they might have sign a trade, because, I don't know, do we have, a, like, a sort of, like, food thingy, or inventory section because so far all we have is these guys and yeah um once the runners discover our presence they get a uh, gaze at us for, for a few minutes afterwards they started uh, marching in our direction it turned out that they're they're lost and all they want is to find a trail leading them to the bright uh, brightness what should we do let's not talk to them i know it's not wise to get uh, it's not it's not let's not talk to them it's now wise to get in directions to the... It's now wise? Is that supposed to be not wise? Uh, let's tell them which way it is, uh... And we might as well be in their place. Uh, yeah, let's tell them. Like, they're, they're not armed. Like, not like they're gonna attack. Like, we're all trying to survive here. The Wonders are very grateful for your direction to the brightness and shared their, um, uh, preserve... Pre pre bleh, we're... Preservatives, preserves, or whatever the fuck this is with us, it's sign hit the road. Okay, so happiness and food is good, and it goes up. Awesome. See, it's good to help people in need, most of the time. Sometimes people will fuck us over. Why is this one? All right. Um, we came across an obstacle. Uh, our way is separated by a fast flowing river, uh, and uh, the nearby bridge collapsed some time ago. What should we do? Uh, let's send Sarah to scout where the most shallow part so we can cross the river. Let's try to swim to the other side. The only solution is to go around and find another crossing on the other side. If only someone could build us a makeshift uh, footbridge. Are you a builder? Are you a builder? Who is a builder here? Um. You're good. Like, your energy is all the same. I feel like this is gonna take down your energy. Like, this... Why is it also messing with your... Oh, no, it's gonna take down your food, not your energy. Uh, I should try to swim across. Yeah, this... This would take down your energy. Let's... I want you to go ahead. Okay, 
your hunger went down. Don't know why. Sarah manages to find the shell spot in a few minutes. Okay, maybe okay, maybe hunger affects them differently. Maybe your hunger goes down with the time because you're a bigger guy, and your hunger has been like pretty good for a while. I haven't seen anything changing, so you must not be affected by hunger as much because you're just a smaller body. Sarah manages to find a shell spot in a few minutes. That's good. It's good that we have someone like Sarah on our team. Yes, it is. In the distant, uh, di in the dense thicket of the sidelines, we spot a small campsite. There weren't any people present, but we could see smoke coming from dying campfire. That's not really unnecessary. We should move on. Let's get closer. Perhaps there are some supplies. Mm. If there is fire dying out, that means someone was just recently there. And I don't know why they would leave a camp. Like, it's showing a tent. So there has to be, like, someone possibly inside. Uh, like, after just game or their fire or something like that. There are many reasons why there's a tent there. And they'll probably come back. So let's not risk it. We should just keep moving on. Okay, we're good. Oh, your energy. Your energy goes down faster because you're tiny. Oh boy. Oh, uh, let's see now. When the early sun, uh, sun rays broke through the morning mist, high shades of city buildings emerge on the horizon. Let's find out with us. Let's try to take a... Uh, try to take a look... Um, Let's take a, a closer look. Um, once uh, teeming with life, uh, Metopolis now appears to be dead and unnaturally silent. As we approach closer, we notice the direct, uh, derelict tenant tenants and uh, deserted blocks of flats. What a waste is here. Uh, let's enter the city. Um, I want to know what your opinion is. So many people had to live in this place, it's hard to imagine. On the way, we encounter an elderly man. Okay, so is that- so it'll continue us moving on. It's just that we don't want to know, is it like- I want to get to know these people more. I want to get to know them. They're my team. I need them to survive. I need to help them along the way. On the way, we encounter an elderly man searching through the car wrecks. Uh, he was very frightened when he saw this and he even put his hands up asking us not to hear him. Let's bypass this guy and move on. Let's talk to him. We might get some information or we need his supplies. Let's take his stuff. No, let's be nice. You need a rest. You're not hungry. No one's hungry. You just need the rest. Let's talk to him. We might get some information. That sounds good. Get, gotta get your information. The question is if we should trust this guy's information because you never know. People try to screw us over. Okay, we always gotta, always gotta trust our, like, brain, our instincts, and all the kind of, so let's, let's see what he has to say. The old guy was very uh, distrustful, but eventually engaged uh, in a few words. He told us that he's been trying, uh, been living in this area for all of his life, uh, and that he doesn't want to, uh, to leave even though it's getting harder to find any supplies. At the end of our conversation, he showed us a hidden path. Which will definitely shorten our journey. Okay, that's... If we say it will shorten our journey, then it will probably shorten our journey. Because only us... Why am I looking over at the screen? It's this... This is where the camera is. I'm talking over here. There's no camera here. This is the camera. So, if we say it will shorten our path, then it will probably shorten our path. We have to move on the shorter cut will save us some time. Yes. And it gives her energy! Yes! Alright, we spotted a lonely woman at a distance who immediately ran towards us. She begged us to help her sick daughter, whose condition has been getting worse uh, from a few uh, from a few days. It appears that she needs meds and food. It's our business. We can't just uh, we can't just give away our supplies. Let's move on. There's nobody protecting her. Let's take her stuff. We should help her. Even in times like these, people should help one another. Indeed. Let's let's help her out. She has a daughter. Let's help. Oh no, your health goes down. Your health went down, but your happiness went up. But your health, but you're happy. Look at there's a smile. There's a smile on her face. He looks happy. She just she looks like okay. Yeah, this is fine. I'm I'm happy on this. You're the most happiest, and I can't see a face on you, and you still look like gloomy. But oh, I love it. I like seeing them happy. The woman thanked us very much and hugged each one of us. Let us spark and hope in our eyes. Uh, good karma always comes back. One day, 
we may uh, be in need. I'm worried about Anne though. She she has low health. That's very worrying. I don't want her to die. Among the runes, we come across a, a derelict four-story building that might have been a hospital once. The small rooms are, are still filled with broken beds and toppled cars. The doors are smashed, windows shattered, and the whole place has been searched at least a dozen times. We better bypass this building. Someone dangerous may be hiding there. Let Sarah... Uh, Let's send Scare to scout the area. Firstly, she should check if the building is unoccupied. Let's search the building. We might find some medicine or other supplies. Ah, oh, man. There was so much talking. I, I didn't really expect this to be so much talking. Let's send, let's send Scare. I trust Sarah now. Sarah's, Sarah's good. I trust her. She's my sneaky lady. After a brief stalking around the building, Sarah got back with news. It looks like that some numerous groups made a hideout there, but right now it uh, appears to be deserted. Oh man, I really need to worry about Anna. Like, our health? Like, you got. Oh. She said, bro, those people living there may come back any moment now. If they, if they have, like, a place to be, there's a chance they have weapons, they might attack us. Anne needs to live, okay? She's a little girl. She just she has only such a short time of her life. She only lived for such a short time. She needs to keep on living, okay? These two, I don't want to die, but Nick can die. I want the little girl to live. Um, and I find something. We need to go. We need to go. Their happiness went up though, which is nice, even though their happiness doesn't really need to go up. Our trek is interrupted by distant gunshots. Should we follow them? It's not our business. Let's try to bypass the area. Let's send Sarah ahead and see if she can load the source of guns. Um, we need to check it out. Follow the source of the sound. <clears throat> Sarah, you go up ahead. You do good. And also, it doesn't really affect your... That's a lot. We should go? That sounds like a lot of guns. We should go. The sounds of gunshot intensifies with every minute until we finally saw low buildings at the bottom of a nearby slope. So I reported that the gunshots were coming from bandits attacking some survivors in the buildings. She really wanted us to. She really wanted us to help those poor people. Well, Sarah wants that. We should help. I. And you, go in the sidelines. Go go to safety. The t the two adults. Hey. Okay? All right. I don't want you to die. No, nope, let's. We're gonna help. We're gonna help. Oh man, your hunger's really low. We gotta get some supplies. Our sudden appearance uh, caused this right in the attackers' ranks. They decided to leave combat and run away. It was then when we figured out that we've just uh, saved a group of wanderers from Danit's attack. The amazing, the amazed survivors started waving to us to get closer. Let's get closer and meet them face to face. In return, the strangers from ruins offered us shelter in their uh, settlement. Um, the premise said it um, is said to be well protected not far away. Are we going to accept their invitation? Uh, we better continue our trek. We might be some dangers waiting for us. We need rest. We need rest. It is night out now. I'm pretty sure that's night. That looks like the moon. It looks dark. You need health. You need food. We should agree. The owners were really happy about this decision and offered to walk us directly to Sentinel Gates. This can be our chance for rest. Yes. Okay. Setting up our campsite in the settlement was the best thing that has happened to us. Recently, surrounded by thick city walls, we could finally rest and relax a little. And we also managed to obtain some valuable information from the locals. Um, a spot like a spot like this is rare sight among the ruins. We should be happy that we got there. All right. And uh, what do you think about last day? Sarah is your opinion on the journey. Sarge, what do you think about our situation? Um, I feel like we should probably talk to Sarge. I already talked to Anne. Sarah, we've been using a lot. But maybe we should talk to her. Oh, man. And my girl, you need your health. Um, okay, so it's all random. Okay. Let's talk to Sarge. 
There we go. Oh, yes. Thank you. Our hung. Oh, my goodness. That was the best thing I've ever decided. Oh, I no longer have to worry too much. Yes. <clears throat> when the first sun rays, be uh, sun rays began to dormant over the horizon, we started to get ready for our trek. After a short while, we gathered our gear and hit the road. And so fate will be kind to us. There's a long way ahead of us. We, should, uh, we shouldn't linger anymore. Hmm. Mm. Kind of I don't know if they will like matter or if it'll change like some algorithms or something like that. Mm. There's a long way ahead of this shit. Let's 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 hope. Oh. Ah. Uh, we heard a uh, hush shouting from the distance room. It sounded like someone was calling for help. Should we react in the castle? We should be safe there. Let's stay here. Someone needs help. We should check it out. Uh, the shouting may hurl trouble. We should leave immediately. Uh, let's check it out. We went fast. We head toward the scream and into the ruins. After a while, we saw a pack of wolves attacking a frightened man. The beast ran away, uh, scared by her sudden appearance. However, the man was badly wounded. Let's leave him to this place now. Let's check on him. Let's check on him. Oh boy. Hey, what? What's. You have like pink on your face. You all do. Man, this really bites around his neck and left shoulder. It seems that he is bleeding out in a moment. Uh, let's put an end to his suffering. We can't help him anymore. Let's try to address his wound. Let's leave him in this place. Oh, oh man. So Sarge wants to put an end to him. Like, wants to. And it was suffering. Around his neck, left shoulder. Ah, uh, around his neck. That sounds like a terrible wound. I don't think you can. Can he survive from a neck, neck thing? Not with, like out the. Not without like proper hospitalization. I um, mean, this will probably make our happiness go down, but our happiness is like a freaking max. Let's put an end to it. Yeah, our happiness went down. Not by a lot. That was nice. Sarge quickly twisted the man's neck. The sound was unpleasant. We were we were right to do so. It, like, we put it into his misery. Okay, our happiness went back up. Your happiness? Not really. Our... We good. We good, man. We good. I keep looking over there. Hi. This is your face. That's, that's you. Hi. Hello, how are you? Man, I wonder how long this game is, because... Oh, man. This is a lot of talking. I wonder if I should take a break. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break. We'll be back. We'll be back, okay? We'll be back. Hey, welcome back to some more Blackout. Let's get back into it, shall we? Alright. Uh, where we last slept off, we leave the ruined city, and after a long trek, found ourselves in the wasteland again. For our eyes, there was a heavy rusted, rusted information board showing us the way to the brightness. It's not far. Uh, we just have to go a little bit further. It's not far. Let's let's go. We can do this. Realizing then that uh, that the distance is getting much shorter with each day, we all feel at ease. It's time for a bit of happiness. Let's walk some more since we still feel motivated. Let's uh, sub cancer here and regain our strength. Should we? I don't know. Like our like our health, it could be better. Your energy can be better. You're like, but otherwise, they're pretty good. Let's, since we still feel more, like it's still light. We still feel more. Do you hear? The, oh boy, what is, what's going on? What's happening? Being in good humor, we almost don't hear the commotion coming from the nearby thicket. What could it be? What is that? What could it be? Someone is coming. When we realize that uh, what's coming, it's already too late. Prepare yourselves. Oh no! Suddenly, a uh, uh, dark silhouette emerged from the nearby thicket. The attackers start to encircle us from, uh, and one of them takes out a pistol from his side pocket. He is pointing at us. What should we do? Um. He's pointing at us. What should we do? Ah, fuck. We, do we got weapons? I don't know if we have weapons. Do we have weapons? Run. Got energy. So maybe we can run. Sur we're not surrendering. Fight. Fuck. 
Buck! Talk or run! Talk or run! Talk or run! Talk or run! No. Talk or run! <laughs> uh, I don't fucking know. Um. I don't want you guys to die. We're so close. Let's. Talk, run, talk, run. Do I trust your. Ah. Do I trust. This room is set. He takes out the pistol from his side pocket. He's pointing at us. What should we do? Talk. Let's talk. Find out more. Uh, find out more. Playing the full version of the game. Blackout. Thank you for your child game. Let us know what to think about. We survived for now. Oh man. Oh man, that was so good. Well, I'm gonna have to add this. To well. <laughs> Ah, uh, wow, okay. Alright. <laughs> well, that was a. I like this game. There's a, there's a lot of talking, but that's because of me. Otherwise, it's a lot of reading, but hey, that's fine. Um, that was a great game. I love survival games. This was so good. I really like this. I want to play more. I can't wait until the full game comes out. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna have to like look this. I'm gonna have to look it up and more and all that. And yeah, such a great game, and I really hope you enjoyed it. I, I already did the uh, thing, but I'm gonna add this to the last video because I didn't realize it was show. Sh well, it wasn't short, but either way, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please subscribe. It really helps. And I will see you all next time. Please check this out in the description, by the way. It's so good. Alright, bye guys! Bye-bye! Bye-bye!